Cooking Class 101. You know, I've been seeing a lot of uh, the Berea, and it looks so, so tasty. I've been watching a lot of uh, videos, so I'm going to do my take, my rendition of the Berea. Um, yeah, so let's get started. And while I'm starting, I'm going to, you guys going to start, I'm going to tell you a little story. Okay, so here I have short ribs. They said you have to have the bones, so this is what I got, the bones. I did rinse these off and pat them dry. This is chuck roast, which it has no bones in it, and I cubed it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just put these in here. So the chuck roasts are coming smaller these days. Don't know why, but they are. So the smaller of the pieces that you do, the quicker it will cook. Okay, you put it in there whole, it's going to take you four to five hours, 2,000 years later. So, I'm going to do that. And I don't have a great big pot I do, but I don't think I need to bring a big old pot out for this. Okay. Now, in here, I have one big old onion. I'm going to put in here. Onion. Okay. I have one bulb of garlic. Putting all that in here. Okay. I'm gonna put some carrots, and this is like three three sticks that I slice down the middle and then slice again. This is what I'm gonna save later. Okay, in this plate. I have garlic powder. I don't have it on there. I have Mexican oregano. The garlic powder is like two and one fourth. The Mexican oregano is also two and one fourth. I have my Celtic sea salt, okay, which is different. It's like uh, a little like a half a teaspoon. I don't know how many bay leaves, so we're just gonna put that in there. I have. Let's see, I put four, four, so four. I put, this is like maybe four and a half of, of uh, chicken powder. Hello guys, on, on this uh, ingredients here, I set four and a half tablespoons of chicken uh, powder. Do not put four and a half tablespoons of chicken powder in there because it would become too salty after set. For my family, just only use one tablespoon of chicken powder and adjust your seasoning as it goes do not put four and a half nor three tablespoons of chicken powder do not put a tablespoon of salt only use a half a teaspoon of salt to your briera it did come out amazing it did come out good but we noticed it tend to be very very salty so do not put that in there this is like maybe a teaspoon, no, a tablespoon of cumin. And these are peppers. Okay. I'm not through yet. This is my rendition of it. I am going to put my chicken rub in there that has all the flavors in it. So I'm going to use one, which is two and one fourth. Two. So it's like four and a half of my chicken rub. All right. So I'm just going to let this come to a boil until the meat becomes tender. Oh, and I need to put a lid on it. So yeah, let me smush this down. Smush this down. It smells good already with just my chicken rub in here. Who knew? Whoever thunk it? And guess what? I'm gonna do like Quan. You can whine, cry, complain, but you don't have nothing on my beer old wet taco. Okay? Cause mine's gonna be hitting different 
all day long. Okay. You're going to do that and just stir it. Let it get tender. And when I come back, I'm going to tell you a story about my best, best friend, Kim. We were talking one day and we were talking about our grandparents and what they used to do back in the day. And I was telling her the story about when I went to the country. My mom always had us go to the country. We always call it down home. That's what we called it down home. So I remember my Aunt Red, she had a big old, big old house. And I remember she was trying to teach me how to milk a cow. I scared of cows, okay? So she got my little stool. She had her stool. She had a little milk pail bucket or whatever you want to call it thing. And there was this cow. Cow kept looking at me. I was scared of it. She was trying to tell, show me how to get the, what do you call it, the teats, whatever it's called. And I'm supposed to like, you know, do it hard and bring it down for the milk to come down. Well, I guess I wasn't doing it right because the cow turned around and looked at me and said moo. And it's like, oh, hell no. And I said, I'm scared. So I started crying and stuff because I was scared of the cow. And as she did that, I held one of them teeth in my hand and I had squirted my ain't red with the milk. So that was all on that one. So it's like, mm, mm, mm. Another one was, she used to have this, what do you call it? Wash pan? Wash pail. It was a great big old tin pail that you wash clothes in. And she had that on the fire. And my cousin, Jesse Ray, and they boiling the water. I thought they was going to do something. They were boiling the water. And then when it cooled down just a little bit, Jesse Ray and my Aunt Red took this big old, where did they go? Pail into the kitchen and told us it was time to take a bath and i'm looking at her and i'm looking at my sisters like she's trying to cook us you know she is really trying to cook us so i wouldn't get in it just yet until she got the the, the whooping stick so i got in and i was nervous she tried to whoop us with uh with that little stick because i didn't want to get in the boiling water felt like she was a witch I do not like the country. I'm sorry. I don't. Because Oz is a city girl. Alright, I'm going to let this boil. And I'll put a lid on it. And I'll come back and taste the broth and see what I need to, I need to add some more. Okay, guys. I forgot one more thing. I have some uh, Wajillos. My uh, Latino family. Please let me know if I'm saying it right. I have some Ancho chili. Yeah. And I rinsed these off. So I'll probably say I had like 10 or 11 of the wahios and two of the anchovies and I mean anchovy. The ancho, how have you say it? Okay. And I did rinse these off very well. And I'll put a lid on it and I'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm back. What I'm doing now is uh Guys, this broth is fantastic. Oh my God. So I'm going to go and try to surf for the Wahios. I did some earlier right here. And I'm just going to check this out. I don't understand. My Latino families let me know. Do you take the onions out I'm going to blend it and my meat still not tender it's getting there so I'm just taking some of the onions and uh, the chilies out I can find them because I put quite a bit of them in here yeah okay. 
I'm putting them in here. Into my Vitamix. Take a garlic to put in there too. Okay, I'm gonna blend this up and I'll be back. Okay, so I've taken the chilies and stuff out you guys saw me do. And I pureed it with some of the broth. And this is how it looks, okay? Right there. Now, I'm gonna pour it in here. Stir it, and then I'm gonna add. Oh, oh, even the chili's good. I'm gonna add a little more water to it. Okay, it's probably about. I say about almost two cups, not quite. Pour that in there. Okay. Stir it up. And this is where you want to probably come back and maybe re-season because I add more water. Yeah. So you're going to let it cook down. Some more. I don't know why my meat is not getting tender because I got a chuck roast. Hmm. I guess I said to boil it. It's getting there. To boil it some more. All right, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm later. back. So this is how my broth is looking, guys. This stuff tastes so amazing, amazing. Really, really good. It makes me want to put some, uh, some, uh, what do you call that stuff that I like so much? It looks like manure. Yeah. Harmony. That's what I was thinking about. Yeah. And so, here I am. Took some of the meat out. And I'm just taking the pork and just shredding apart. So all I'm doing is shredding. So adjust your seasoning. If it's not seasoned good enough for you, put add your seasoning to it. But I use my chicken rub. And you can get my chicken rub at uh, CarlisTheSpices.com. Again, you can get the chicken rub, chicken seasoning, however you want to call it, at CarlisTheSpices.com. So that's so all I'm doing is shredding this up with the two ports. That's it. Alright, I'll be back with the next thing. Okay guys, thing. I didn't make any chili oil. I just put some of my bacon grease in here. Okay, so this is how I'm shredding it. It's really super good. Just shredding with two forks. I know some people chop. But if I started chopping, it'd be all over the place. And Diamond would love it. Miss Smart Fan stuff. For some of you that don't know who Diamond is. Right now she's standing here looking at me. Okay. And I'm gonna take some of that sauce. Or the broth rather and just pour it over and just kind of mix it in there all right let's get these get tacos started so what I'm doing is I took some of that broth put it in a bowl Put it there.
All right, take some cheese, put it on one side. As much cheese as you want. Take some of meat. And on this side, and on this side, Just a little onion. I know it's different. Ouch. Cilantro. More cheese. Fold it over. Fold that over. Fold that over. Ugh. If I just don't want to fold. Okay, so I'm turning it over. I got me a spatula. Try to put the goodness back in there. It's okay. Turning that over. This griddle right here, I got it from Amazon. It's the cast iron griddle. The spatula also got it from Amazon. Love, 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 love. You say, I love cast iron, period. It gives it uh, an even uh, temperature. It's just good. Something you can have for years and years. Look at that cheese oozing out. Okay? Look at that. Yeah. Alright, hey guys. Here's my uh, Briera. I hope I'm saying it right. Like I said to my Latino family, let me know if I'm saying it wrong and let me know what you think I could have improved on in the, the broth. But to be honest with you, I don't see no improvement in my broth because it's good. It's really good. I love the tacos. I really love them. I think this is going to be my all-time favorite on the tacos, the wet tacos with all the goodness inside of it. Oh, my God. Don't forget to check out in the description box for the cast iron griddle. The reason why I love cast iron is because one is you can keep it forever and ever and pass it on to the generation next to the generation. Two is they have the unseasoned ones and they have the seasoned one. I chose to get the unseasoned one because I wanted to season it myself. Cast iron lasts a long time. Do not put it in the dishwasher. Do not keep it in your sink and water in it because it will rust. The spatula that I have, I love it because it's wide. It's wide and you can grip those tacos pretty good, just flipping them over. So that also will be uh, in my description box as well. Guys, try this out because it's, it's easy to make, but it takes a, a, a little long time for us to meet. We got this chuck with hardly no fat in it at all. So we really don't have the fat contest, the oil on top of the, the uh, consomme. That, that's what it's called, consomme. So we really don't have that. But if you do get it, try to get something that, that's a little fattier. So you would get the uh, chili oil on top of it. So guys, I want you to enjoy it and let me tell you.